Hmm. Which ones? Uh, don't have sandals. Socks with sliders? Sort of works. Hmm. No. Don't have to put these on. Welcome to my channel. Um, so a bit different today. I'm in the van and we're going to go on a little trip. Um, I don't know how this is going to come out. I've not done this before. I normally always shoot on the GoPro and I don't normally do this sort of stuff kind of in person, but I thought, you know what? Let's give it a go. Um, but yeah, uh, for anyone who doesn't know or hasn't seen any of my other videos, I don't know, I've not got that many, I haven't got that many subscribers for that matter either, but um, yeah, I have a T5 transporter that has been lovingly converted into a camper van. I didn't do it, nothing to do with me. Uh, I'm crap with my hands to start off with. Um, but also, uh, I don't have the time or want to make the time or have I just don't want to do it. I'll be honest with you. I just wanted a camper van and I wanted to experience um, an element of van life to send us tent. Going away the weekend with my family, my wife. We love traveling. We love doing all this. We've always wanted a camper van. So that's done. But I'm also quite inspired by uh, the van life movement. that kind of sort of kicked off, what, I don't know, really sort of two or three years ago. It's sort of dying out a bit now. It's all sort of been done. But... Um, I'm still inspired by it. I still watch a lot of videos on YouTube and I follow a lot of people, um, a lot of people, I follow certain people on YouTube who I still really enjoy. Um, namely, uh, Lost in Europe, Project Amber, um, Leon the Terrible, all of those guys, uh, the Van City Life guy um, in Canada. Oh, Forest Forest, how did I forget Forest Forest? Awesome. Um, and I still watch those guys to this day, madly jealous often because I work full time, very much in a career. And um, I would love nothing more than driving around in my camper van, going on adventures, meeting new people. I think that's a fantastic life, but it doesn't pay the bills. And uh, as I say, I've got a job and very much uh, a career. Go on, mate, we're gonna go. And, uh, and that's that. So. I would love to experience an element of that one day, but for now, I uh, I live vicariously through those guys who are watching YouTube, and they do a bloody good job as well uh, at it. But anyway, I'm waffling away. Um, all those good names uh, uh, being said, um, I'm actually going to go and meet a van life for today. Um, guy I've gotten to recently um, and I've kind of just been binge watching his, uh, his videos he's, um, he's not the biggest doesn't get that many views but I think he's I think he's I think he's hilarious um, he kicked off he's uh, he's had a channel for years but he kind of got into van life again I, he was inspired by the uh, the likes of the names I've uh, just mentioned a minute ago and uh, seems to have really been inspired by van life. And uh, COVID kind of forced him into getting a van, um, uh, giving up his flat and giving it a go. And he's still doing it to this day. Um, and that's a guy called uh, Socks with Sandals. Um, I just think, I think he's brilliant. I think he's great. Uh, he's been doing he's been doing van life now, trying up down the country for well over a year. He started. May last year, and I say I'm, I think he, he does it by seasons, which I quite like. Um, even though season two was about 100 episodes long, after season one, which was 20, which made me laugh. But but yeah, he's uh, he's kind of he's touring the country. He's in Scotland at the moment, but he put out a post not so long ago saying that he's uh, he was travelling down the M4 towards Essex, 
And if anyone was around to, um, to give him a shout and he, he could uh, see if he could meet up with, uh, with, his, with his subscribers. So last week, he's had a couple of beers, but why not? He, uh, he's going past Watford. I'm just off Luton, so just up the motorway. And I said, yeah, just look, I'm, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in uh, near Luton Way. Um, yeah, if you want to meet up, meet up. Uh, he messaged back pretty quickly and uh, he said he was up for it. So, um, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go and meet him. Which is just, just uh, that's weird for me. It's kind of surreal in a way because, yeah, I suppose in a way I'd be sort of starstruck, as silly as that sounds. So it's only a small kind of YouTuber really, but I've watched, I've watched his channel now for a good sort of two or three weeks. And, uh, I know in my way, in some ways, it's a bit of a celebrity to me, as, as funny as that sounds. But you just, like I say, yeah, just from watching someone exclusively on TV and kind of feeling like you know them, to then going to meet them, um, it's kind of, uh, it's kind of, it's kind of funny, isn't it? So, anyway, there I am. That's what I'm doing today. I'm gonna go and meet Tim. I hope you're okay with me saying your name. Um, AKA Socks with Sandals. And uh, let's see how it goes. We on, we are on, and there we, there he is, Mr. Socks and Sandals, straight in there. Unmistakable blue van of his. You're watching Socks and Sandals on Scott's channel. Wandering around. Yeah. <laughs> there he is. There he is. Mr. Socks with Sandway. Straight away. See how much of an amateur I am. That works. I've got an Android, so I can't flick from one view oh, to the really? like other. Yeah, I've actually got yeah. to stop, change the angle, turn it back. Yeah. Yeah. So we've just been having a chat, and uh, yeah, pretty much as you, uh, anyone who watches the Socks with Sandals uh, uh, channel, yeah, every much, uh, every, every part of uh, Mr. Sandals. To me. I even got to empty his piss bottle, so I'm, uh, <laughs> it's amazing. He's got an upgrade as well. So there we go, look at that. There it is. The family size, empty. family pack. Scott emptied family... that for me in slow motion. Come and watch it on my channel in slow motion. Scott emptying my wee wee bottle. There you go. Three litres. I was just saying, it's, it's such a kind of, I suppose it's a bit of a gross act really, but it was an honour. <laughs> it was an honour to do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to do it. Anyway, I've got I've got something for you. Oh. I've got something for you. Go ahead, little you may have spotted it a minute ago. No, I didn't. There we go. I don't know if you're still into uh, into the pasties. Wow. So whilst, it's not the double pack. From... While Scott films me for his channel, I'm filming for mine. There we go. There we I've go. Got a Cornish pasty. A Cornish pasty. That. Uh, you, you, you could put that on your engine if you want, or I could even cook it. I can cook it in, the, in my van if you really want. My engine's cold, but I've got that little um, uh, bit of an update here. Since the last oh, okay. time Scott saw my video, I've got this kind of mini fridge come heater, so I can put it in there. Nice. It comes out 50. Oh, the heat, it heats as well. Yeah, it heats to 50 Celsius, which is nice and toasty. Good, nice upgrade. Oh, and I've got you some, so I know, I know you've got a sweet tooth as well. So there you go. Got you some classic. Oh, Chocolate thing, oh. chocolate fingers. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> classic, classic. Yeah. Got my toilet bag here. Cool. Uh, my little, although I'm pretty much just using wipes and toothpaste these days and not much else. Uh, in the back here, you can see I have a door, a two meter by uh, 80 centimeter door. Yeah. With an inch of memory foam, just pick the pube off it, <laughs> and a uh, one inch air bed. I oh, see, yeah, yeah. okay, that's quite a good got, pattern actually. Then I got like sort of a grand cloth, yeah. and then I got my summer duvet underneath, yeah, and my around the back, please. okay, around the back, yeah, winter duvet on top. Now, what's all going on at the moment? 
we're on 13.5. 13.5. Is that doing the job, is it? Yeah, yes, it's been down to freezing the last couple of nights. And without a diesel eater, I've been okay just under this, the 13.5. Oh, yeah, do, that looks pretty cozy. Absolutely lovely, but then I do have insulation. This is probably the best point to view the insulation. So I've got this um, soundproof deadling, deadling okay. here. Yeah. And then I've got two inches of dodo mat there. Yeah. I angle it up. Got two inches of dodo mat there, yeah, and then I've got a waterproof layer here. Okay. So, okay. Um, and then obviously I've got a bit of extra plywood on the yep. panels. Yeah. So it's really well insulated. I, I can't it's believe I can't. Well, it, it sounds bad, but you've got great value out of this van, haven't you? The miles you must have done in it, especially going up to Scotland last week or a couple uh, yeah, of weeks ago. Well, I've only done uh, about eight thousand miles a year in it. Okay, uh, but so it's very economical, um, especially now we've got the new roof rack on it. It does uh, over fifty miles per gallon again. I was struggling to get forty with that crappy factory roof rack. But, yeah, but this is brilliant. Okay, awesome. Yeah, there we go. Uh, today Scott just caught me putting on this red tint, so I don't know if you can see out there towards your van. There we go. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, so uh, but, but look, try and look through the other side. Uh, yeah, go, yeah, yeah. Go, oh, so go, uh, oh, go this side, I see what you mean. Yeah, so yeah. When, when oh, doors, you know, you're not seeing when it. When the door's closed, you're not seeing no, it. No, you can not, just see, you can see like... the shine of my bald hair, that's it. Wow. Look at that. Oh, shit, your face's gone. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Extras here. There you go. Oh, yeah, so, uh, yeah, so I've only just started to put this in. I mean, I've got. Um, Obviously, that won't do. Uh, you know, I can't yeah. have people watching. No, no. What, I, 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 what, what yeah. a gentleman might be doing exactly. by himself. Mid in midnight evening. activities. Yeah, you never know. Yeah. <laughs> you know I think there's nothing on YouTube. I've seen all the news on BitChute. Yeah, you know, yeah. you reach down. It's, yeah, it's yeah, like, you know, a gentleman at leisure <laughs> starts to find other things to do. But, uh, yeah, so in that case, you've got to uh, have a bit of privacy. And then Absolutely. Privacy as well. No check, but uh, no one can see around the front. I mean, typically what I do is I'll just get a random car. So wind the wind. Yeah, so it's a typical autumn day. You just, yeah, we're so just waiting for the rain now, aren't we? Yeah, yeah I'll tip that I'll finish off. The uh, and there's, there's a, yeah, there's so a, there's a classic. I, I, I just get, oh. The what? hoax face mask. Oh, yeah. I've seen that a few times. Yeah, so back in the day where they really wouldn't let you in. I used to there he is. It. There he is. Mm. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> yeah, just to get the message across. But when I realised that you could just claim, um, what's it called? I mean, I haven't done this for a while. Oh, exemption. Okay. You could just claim to have a medical exemption. Uh, okay. And that's it. So and I, then I, you're I, sorted. I, I just wear that, and then uh, that. I so you don't have one. You've just basically applied for that uh, yeah, with I your Tesco's it. lanyard, and yeah, you sorted. Yes, I got the Tesco's. Yeah, I haven't got muscled up since, and I will never muscle again. Ever. No, no, I don't. I don't do it so much now, to be honest. Uh, okay, go for it then. Talk so, us through your solar system. Yeah, I've kept it real simple. This I got off a Nigerian bloke with a thick with a flint knife in uh, London. As you do, yeah. Seventy-five quid. Can't get cheaper. Wasn't Bloody expecting hell, right? much, but it's two hundred seventy-five watts in the summer. Obviously, not much now. No, uh, no, <laughs> not without cloud cover. That goes down to a couple of uh, just car batteries, just okay. just a couple of car batteries down there under the various plastic bags, um, and it's charged through. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. This yeah. this charge controller here. Yeah. Uh, okay. Nice. Yeah. Cool. I'm impressed. But I will be getting. Um, a, uh, I, I don't even know what it's called, a, a split relay so I can yeah, yeah. charge the batteries from the uh, engine while it's running. One question, Tim. Is Captain Badass in there? Oh, Where's Captain Badass? <laughs> <laughs> I just remembered that. Are you still doing uh, that? Uh, I'll pause it. Give me a couple of minutes to find it. All right. Yeah, so you filming now? Yeah. Yeah, yeah so uh, obviously when you're first in the van by yourself, um, you start to get a bit of cabin fever. Yeah. And I found that by having, that I've, I found this actually a couple of years ago on, in Gretna Green. Uh, and it was just all, we'd been run over by a few trucks or whatever. It's probably a truck mascot. So yeah. I put it through the, the washing machine and uh, and it's all right. Uh, that, that was Pinky, yeah. So Pinky. 
It's just basically whenever I was going a bit mad and saying something stupid in the edit, I'd have yeah. uh, Pinky taking the piss out of me, you know, to bring me back down to yeah. earth. Yeah, yeah. And then, uh, then I bought this toy glider. Uh, from It was a Duplo glider from uh, TK Maxx. There he is, Captain and, uh, Badass. Yeah, man. There he is. <laughs> I, I, I'll tell you what, that they're, they're Tim, he's crazy, man. If it weren't for me, I think he would have, well, I don't know what would happen, man. <laughs> Buy one here. And yeah. I've not seen this one. Who's and, this? And I'm, uh, I'm uh, Mrs. Mrs. Bitch Badass. This I'm bitch. <laughs> Mrs. Bitch Badass. I'm uh, Major Chuck Badass's wife. Oh, pleased to meet you, Mrs. Bitch Badass. Yeah, yeah, I, I called her that and it stuck. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Oh, it's great to see it. Excellent. There we go. So there we go. I've just given Socks and Sandals a tour of my van, which is uh, quite surreal to be fair. But um, I'll have to do that in a separate video for anyone who's interested. I don't know, would, that, would people be interested in that? A yes! Van, would they? Yes! Yes! Thumbs up, likes, you know, yeah. in the comments. But um, yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll do that. because like, And watch me, subscribe to me. Yes, yes. <laughs> subscribe to him, Socks and Sandals. Yeah. I'll put the link and, in the description. And a bit of politics. Don't forget why we were in this, yeah? yeah? A lot of people died for your freedom. And it's a waste of your freedom if you let those buggers who you're supposed to have elected take it away from you for nothing. Yeah. So remember your freedom, be free, and don't let them take it away from you. Rant over. Brilliant. But nice to meet you, Tim. It's been, it's been a pleasure. Scott, thanks Brilliant. for coming along, man. No what problem. A place. Thank you very much. There is inside the van, but we'll do that another time. And now the sun comes out. There he goes. Socks and sandals. Absolute pleasure meeting you. I'm not very good at this. <laughs> Socks and sandals. See you later. Cheers, See you, Tim. See ya. Bye. Oh, that's awesome. It's absolutely awesome. Look at that. This, by the way, is the Ivinghoe Beacon, um, just outside of Dunstable, between Dunstable and Aylesbury. Um, beautiful place. You can come up here for a walk, um, see the beautiful views. I should have actually um, filmed a little bit more. Hopefully it come out in the footage that I've just, that I've just taken, but you know, flip this back to me. Um, but yeah, and you can um, you can come up here and camp, as you can just sort of hopefully sort of see. There's a few camper vans knocking around in the in the uh, in the campsite. But um, oh, that's mad. Socks and sandals. <laughs> it's just crazy to meet him. Love it. Um, oh god, let's get past this car. Yeah. Um, God, I'm not very good at this. But yeah, Tim, it was an absolute pleasure to, to meet you. Really nice, really nice guy. Um, and if you haven't already subscribed, subscribe to the Socks With Sandals uh, channel. Very much fan life uh, and the ran ramblings, ranting and musings and wondering, he does a bit of wondering himself, of a, uh, a middle-aged guy. Um, just looking to see the world and have a laugh really and uh yeah he's just he's really he's, he's funny really it's easy to connect with and just just, just an all-round good guy so uh if you like that sort of those sorts of people and, and a bit of van life then then watch him <laughs>